In this video, we're going to talk about data types and the importance of assigning data types in Java. An example I'd like to use in order to show the point is, what if you're invited to a party? If I sent you an invite and said, come and be a player in our party, you'd probably be saying to yourself, well, what kind of party am I invited to? Because there are actually a couple of options. What if I invited you to a birthday party? Well, you'd probably want to bring a present for the person who's having a birthday, and you'd act in a certain way. What if I said I invited you to a costume party? You'd probably want to bring a costume, and you'd act in a different way. And then finally, what if I said you're coming to a coding party? You'd probably want to bring a computer, and you would also act in a different way than you would from a costume or a birthday party. So the point is, if I'm inviting you to do this, you would want to know what kind of party you're being invited to. The same thing is true in Java. Let's say I'm inviting you to be a variable in our program. And Java requires what type of variable are you going to be if you're going to be in my program. Because if you're a certain type of data, I want you acting in a certain way within the program. So the first major type is a numeric type. And that's going to divide into integers and real numbers. The next type is going to be string. And those are going to be word or words inside of a program. And the last type that you could be invited as is a Boolean, meaning you're either going to be true or false. Just like with the party that you're going to, whether it be costume, birthday, or coding, you would act in a certain way. If you're a variable inside of Java, you have to know what type are you going to be so I know how you're going to act or know what's going to happen in the party. I know that Boolean is always going to be true or false. I know that numeric is going to be some kind of number. And I know that string is going to contain some kind of word or group of words or sentences or things along those lines. In Java, let me give you an example of what this would look like. This program right here would not compile and you get an error because the three variables that you see in the middle of the slide here, variable one, variable two, variable three, have all been invited to the program, but they haven't been told what type of variable they're going to be. They're missing a key component. And that key component is what type are they? And now we have given them int, string, and boolean. Int is a numeric data type, so we know that variable one is going to be some type of number. String would be some kind of word or a sentence or a group of symbols together. And then Boolean would either be true or false. Now we haven't assigned them any type of values, but we have given them what type they're going to be in the program. So every time the program calls on variable one, variable two, or variable three, they know exactly what they're getting. They know that they're getting a number or some words or true or false. And this helps with readability and reliability in the program. So Java is a very strong typed or strict type language. And in order for the program to run, each variable is going to have to have a type. And this does not mean that it's being assigned a value. It just means what type of value is it going to be inside of the program.